assalamu alaikum dear students again we are or we have the same paper as we solved the first question in the previous video now we are going to discuss the second question of the same paper so i'm going to open that paper sorry the question question number two so carefully read the instructions and my advice is to do as directed be careful all the instructions are in the paper you are just advised to read carefully and do as directed i'm repeating again please do as directed so these are the full instructions like you have to say or you can consider that if you are going to cook something and all of the recipe is given to you you have to follow each step very carefully to get the full or the cook substance got it so you are going to read carefully and act accordingly that is advised in each and every step this is simple way the next thing that may uh, you have to face and you have to solve this one is the handling of the data so i'm going to help you how you go you are going to draw the tables and get the exact or data you, you are going to use in your calculations so here is the experiment one again i made the tables so that we can save the time for the video and it will also help to upload the videos so that is why here is the table and it was clearly advised you have to follow all of these instructions carefully then you get that and you have to follow the formation of the table like this first of all you have to write the highest temperature rise and i am supposing as i am not performing the experiment right now i am just supposing the values okay so i am considering it is 27.5 and you have to write that and you have to notice that the readings using the thermometer must be in one decimal place then initial temperature of fa3 that we recorded it is 23.5 again it is the supposed value you have to follow the instructions and carefully read the uh, thermometer which you are using and which you used and note down the temperatures accordingly but the table will help you so you have to follow the instructions and try to remember the format of the table then initial temperature of the fa4 which i suppose that is 24.5 and then average value or average initial temperature by dividing by adding these two values and dividing by 2 so we got 24.0 and then we have to go for the change in temperature or the difference in the temperature so this was the initial sorry highest temperature and now this is the initial temperature so you have to subtract these values when we have or when we subtracted these value we get 3.5 so this is the total difference or the change in the temperature then we did the same by performing the experiment 2 okay and same style i adopted to note down and to record the temperatures like you can see so you have to follow these instructions next is the calculations next stage we are going to calculate how the question is asked in b part in calculation part it was advised calculate the energy released and for energy release we have the formula q equals to m times c times change in the temperature delta t so m is the mass of the solution c is the specific heat capacity and it is constant and its value is given this is 4.2 joule okay so you just have to put the values i'm taking two liquids in which we are taking 25 cm cube of each that is why i took 25 plus 25 multiply the specific heat capacity value that is 4.2 and then multiply the change in temperature that is 3.5 of experiment 1 
then the value we got that is 735 joules the negative sign indicates that it is an exothermic reaction the energy was released and you all clearly know that the neutralization process is always exothermic then we go for the next part in the next part it was asked calculate the moles of the acid used as we were provided with the concentration in gram per dm cube to convert the value or the concentration from gram per dm cube to mole per dm cube i'm going to divide it with the mr that is again given in the question you can see this is the mr of the acid 122 so by dividing the concentration in gram per dm cube with mr we got the value converted into mole per dm cube and then again we have the relation we have the formula n equals to cv and by replacing the values of the concentration and the volume that was used 25.0 centimeter cube we got the moles okay so second part is finished and in third part it was advised to calculate the enthalpy change the enthalpy change is calculated by using the formula enthalpy change equals to the moles sorry energy released or energy divided by the moles of the limiting substance divided by the moles of the limiting again i calculated and write it priorly so that we can save the time so you can see this is the formula you have to replace the energy but first of all convert that energy from joules into kilojoules by dividing with 1000 this is the mole of the limiting substance as it is clearly advised the sodium hydroxide is in excess if the acid was in excess sorry alkali was in excess then the acid will be limiting so that is why i'm using the moles of the acid we calculated in the previous part so we have the total energy that is minus 29.88 kilojoules per mole clear proceeding towards the next part that is c and in this part it was advised each measuring cylinder can be read out uh, read to an accuracy of plus minus 0.5 cm cube so actually this is the least count actually this is the least count of the apparatus we are going to use that is measuring cylinder so we are advised to calculate the total maximum percentage error the percentage error can be calculated by using the formula the least count divided by the reading total multiplied by 100 the least count divided by the reading so in this experiment as we are going to use the two solutions fa3 and fa4 so we have to find the percentage error of each solution got it so we measured out 25 centimeter cube of fa3 and fa4 separately that is why both have their own percentage error so that we calculated using the same formula and we have the value 2% for FA3 and 2% for FA4. Therefore, the total percentage error is 4%. Next, the same is done, but it was clearly advised in the instructions of the question. Yeah, you can see. Repeat the experiment 1 using 50 centimeter cube of FA3 and FA4 but it was advised that you will need to use 25 centimeter cube measuring cylinder twice to measure the fa3 so it was advised to use 25 centimeter cube twice for fa3 but for fa4 we can measure the collectively 50 centimeter cube that is why the situation will be like this for fa3 we are using 0.5 is the least count 25 is the reading again 0.5 is the least count and 25 was the reading as we measured out twice and then we measured the 50 centimeter cube of fa4 all together so that's why its percentage error is one percent and in total we have the percentage error of five percent clear now proceeding to the theoretical part of the paper and in this question it was asked the last part 
it was asked a student repeated both experiment in a using hydrochloric acid in place of this organic acid and was asked suggest how the temperature rise when using hcl would compare to the temperature rise recorded in a assume all volumes and concentrations of solutions in mole per dm cube are the same so again it was asked explain your answer by considering the chemical bond involved so when the instruction is there we must have to answer according to the instructions so first of all you have to say suggest the temperature rise so the answer is the temperature rise will be more the temperature rise will be more and the explanation is that hcl is a strong acid and is completely ionized whereas this organic acid is a weak acid or usually weak acids and partially ionizes we also have to involve the bond energies and we have to say that some of the energy consumed in breaking of the bond between oxygen and hydrogen in the organic acid that is why the energy released using the organic acid will be lesser whereas the energy released for the hydrochloric acid will be more so simply you have to write it as the energy release will be more as some amount of the energy consumed in breaking the bond between oxygen and hydrogen in organic acid got it so now the question 2 is complete